Yo, Molo Sambonani, hello, how's it? Shalom, good day. I'm outside the union buildings. That's the seat of government power. Let me just give you a shot of exactly where I am. So you'll get a sense of, there it is in the background peeking in. I think you guys can see that kind of ish. <laughs> uh, guys, welcome to it. It's going to be a short vlog. It's a conversation around firstly why I'm here and um, I think the important work that the Institute of Race Relations um, are doing at the moment. What are they doing? You might be wondering. Well, they are here at the moment. Where are they? There are they. There they are in the background handing over a petition uh, a, for one of their campaigns that's called Stop Citizen Abuse. That's hashtag Stop Citizen Abuse. Now, if you're a South African, you know exactly what they mean by that. You know, uh, the last year really has been nothing but absolute abuse from the political elites in this country. And um, what these guys are here to do is basically hand over a memorandum that details to the presidency just exactly how abusive the state has become, both insofar as how much it has grown and sucked the actual marrow, the, the economic marrow, if you will, of ordinary South Africans, and also in, in just the sheer abuse of the raft of laws, the raft of taxes, the raft of um, asinine police abuse, for instance, of citizenry in this country. So um, welcome to it. Short vlog. I'm going to go across the road, have a chat with them now. Let me see if I can turn the camera around here. Okay, it won't allow me to do that. So that's fine. I am just going to head over across the street and have a chat with some of these folks. Um, bear with me, guys. This is all going to be in motion. Ugh, I'm being a bit loud here. I think they're also filming in the background there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring uh, Gabriel Krauser. You guys know Gabriel. He's been on the show before. Um, he can talk to us a little bit as he enjoys the spliff. Uh, um, oh, wait, are you looking at me? <laughs> no, no, no. As to what this campaign is all about. Gabriel, dude, welcome to it. Short vlog that I'm doing from here. Um, hashtag stop citizens abuse. What's this all about? So the thing about being a citizen is that it's proactive. You have to pay your taxes, you've got to do your work, you've got to take care of your kids, but you also need to be protected. And the fundamental problem that we're seeing in the society right now is that citizens are getting abused and they're just accepting it complacently or, or fearfully, whatever the emotional case may be, we are accepting abuse. We're accepting abuse at the hands of a government that is going to make things go from bad to worse by driving through an expropriation bill that puts everyone's stuff at hazard, at the whim and beck and call of the say-so of municipal authorities and government authorities that have proven track records of abusing what powers they already do have. And beyond that, we go into police reform, education reform, health reform, real practical solutions to put the power back in your hands and to take it out of the hands of people that are abusing us. Mm. Simple as that. Absolutely. Dude, maybe as a final question, because you know people might be wondering, come on, you know, there's, there's so many of these petitions. Do they really do anything? Do I, as a citizen, even, even have the power to make any change? Uh, what would be your message to someone who's entering that sort of despondent state? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say evil reigns when good people do nothing. You have powers bestowed by the Constitution and protected, in a sense, by one another. Now, I was talking with uh, one of our colleagues, Amy Clare, here earlier about communism and the fact that historically, when you look back, on, on communist regimes that have taken over. It seems almost to be inevitable. It's not. And in countries like Russia, whose history I know well, people had to fight communism with guns. They had to put their lives down on the line in the gulag. We are still in a position where you can fight with your mind, with your words and with your voice. That is, that is an honorable thing to do. It's, it's a practical thing to do. And it, it does make a difference. Uh, to, to put it in one clear way, when the expropriation bill was first tabled at NASRIC the end of 2017 and by Sil Ramaphosa in the beginning of 2018, everyone said, we need to expropriate property without compensation to make poor black people rich. That was an insane argument. It'll do just the opposite. Oh. 
And no one makes that argument anymore. Mm -hmm. For the last two years, people that push the bill have said, we need to push this bill so that we won't use it. Mm. We promise never to use it. That's the battle of ideas. Mm. We've cornered them in a very serious sense. That sets us up for the next step to make arguments in court, to make arguments in the public square, to make arguments with diplomats around the world that this bill uh, is deeply flawed and that when it is enacted, inevitably some municipal officer is going to try and take a chance that we can be there to defend that person. Freedom is indivisible. Mm. Property rights are a fundamental freedom and they are indivisible. If one of us is not free, if one of us can just have their stuff taken by the government for no good reason, then all of us can have that. And, and, and this is the, the sort of fundamental mission and the thing that should energize people that are feeling despondent. Mm -hmm. While we're still in a free society, take advantage of your power, the power of a citizen, to stop citizen abuse. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You heard it from Gabriel. Thanks, homie. Um, I'm going to hang around here. I'm going to wait until one of the representatives from the presidency comes out to actually collect the memorandum. Guys, I've always said this. I've always said this. I've always said this. Do not sit back. Stop fearing the political elites. Stop fearing politicians. You have a voice. Use it. Do not sit back. This is all about you, the faith flag, family, and freedom type South African. I'm going to repeat that. This is all about you, the faith, flag, family, and freedom type South African. These people are doing the hard yards, the actual fight. They are putting skin in the game, and they need your support. We are here for these people, the people in that building over there. Let me, let me just um, meander over this way so you can see exactly who I'm talking about. The people who work in that building, for them to hear your voice. It is not enough for us to be keyboard warriors. It is not enough for us to sit back and expect other people to do it. You have to be the sort of people that rise up and say, you know what, here and no further. I draw a line, a firm line in the sand in defense of my life, my liberty, and my property rights in this, the Republic of South Africa. So shout out to you guys for watching. I know this is a short vlog, I'm hoping that rep from the presidency will come back uh, to then just sign everything and receive it. And I'm hoping I can bring you those visuals. I'm sorry, guys, I, I wish I could flip the camera. Um, oh yeah, I can't do that, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, there is another lady here from the IRR. She's just basically doing some segments. I'm sure you'll see that on the Daily Friend in due course. Um, oh, excuse me. A kombucha came back with a vengeance. Um, as I said, I'm going to hang around um, just for like five minutes on the stream just to see if I can catch that uh, representative from the presidency who then comes down to, to collect the memorandum. Did you sign the memorandum? Did you know about it? Um, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to keep this going for the next five minutes. If you're watching, you are on the Big Daddy Liberty Show. This is my vlog series. Welcome to it. Welcome to it. Um, in fact, let me just correct the branding over there. There we go. <laughs> it'll, it'll switch mid midstream, but that's quite fine. Um, sorry, guys. You'll have to forgive me. It is swelteringly hot here in Pretoria. So I'm going to go into the shade a bit. And maybe as I do that, let me go through some of the comments. Um, let's see here. All right, let's see. Let's see what the folks are saying. Stefano Semprini, I see you, homie. Shout out to you, I see the message. Um, Joan Hill, I see your message. Um, in fact, why am I saying I see your message when I can bring them on screen? Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> maybe not the best uh, message to begin off with. Um, but Nick was saying he wasn't aware of this memo. Damn it. Um, I'm, I'm sorry you missed it. Uh, I'm sure it's on their website. Guys, maybe even as I'm saying that, head over to The Daily Friend. That's www.dailyfriend.co.za. I think people can subscribe. Gabriel, people can subscribe to The Daily Friend? Yeah, uh, people can subscribe to The Daily Friend. And if you go onto the RR website, you will see that this, what we're now doing is submitting uh, nearly 20,000 signatures going with this memorandum. But we are not stopping this campaign to stop citizen abuse. Oh. So please go onto our site, 
sign up now. We'll have another round going forward. And what will be good about that round is by that stage, the, the liaison of the Office of the Presidency has promised us a response within two weeks. Mm. So then we'll be able to incorporate that, incorporate that response into our next step going forward. So please, yeah, watch this space, irr.org.za. And if you go to the Daily Friend and subscribe there, you'll also see um, a lot of notifications about this. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Gabriel. Sorry. Guys, again, I, I keep saying this. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. You've got to get involved. You've got to get involved. You can't sit back and let other people fight your battles. Remember, this is about your life, your liberty, and your property rights. You've got to get involved. I think the rep from the presidency is here. I'm just going to keep that all in the background so you can see him. It's the guy in the jeans as he's busy receiving the memorandum with the colleagues from the IRR. This is what citizen activism looks like. This is what citizen activism looks like. You've got to get involved. You've got to get involved. I can't begin to say this again. This is about fighting for you, your life, your liberty, and your property rights. So, yeah, man, I, I um, can't believe to, I can't begin rather, um, to begin to explain why this is important. Um, and I'm seeing a comment here from Avi Foster. Um, no, we're not slaves. And these moments are exactly about you pushing back against the tyranny of the state. So it looks like everything is done. This is sure. The this memorandum is, is uh, out. handed over. I'm just going to get them into the frame. So there you see the stamp of receipts. And uh, yeah, I promise that we're going to get a response in 14 days and uh, very helpful contact inside the office uh, should, not, should that not happen for us to follow up. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Helpful, uh, good response here, and uh, we, we need to we need to keep taking it forward. Drive, Absolutely. Drive message home. This is Amy Clare. She's also part of the Institute of Race Relations. Amy, um, just quick one two, uh, your thoughts on the process uh, and what the campaign is all about, very quickly. Okay, so stop citizen abuse is about abuses that citizens experience at the hands of the government, specifically with regards to high taxation, because this is crippling South Africans, and um, a lot of it gets stolen by corruption. So we've taken this concept of citizen abuse and said all abuses by the government, including stealing from their citizens, is citizen abuse. And we've presented this to the president and told them what they need to do to stop citizen abuse and what will happen if they don't stop citizen abuse. So hopefully we will get a response. Um, the people who actually work at the building are actually helpful and kind and did a great job. And yeah, they were very helpful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There you have it, guys. As I said, this is your moment. This is your opportunity to get your voice heard. Do not sit back and think that someone else will do the hard yards, the hard work at defending your life, your liberty, and your property rights. Remember, we are a faith flag, family, and freedom type society. And we can only be that. We can only guarantee that if every single one of us actually push back against the people in that building right over there. Oops, yikes, there we go. The people in that building, if we can push back, and excuse me, rather, we should push back against the people in that building. This is not a society of the political elites. This is not a society of, you know, the the, the well-to-do people. The South Africa belongs to the faith flag, family and freedom type South African. And citizen activism is about doing exactly things like these, pushing back, pushing back. I agree with you, Clem Simpson, about taking the masks off. My ass is not putting the mask on anymore. Um, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. You do what you want to do. Um, but I'll simply say this is to close because um, guys, look out for some of the work that I'll be doing. Look out for some of the work that organizations that the IRR are doing. Look out. Um, if you are a fan of the show, please share these videos. Trust you me, the Big Daddy Liberty Show is going to be on the ground pushing some serious campaigns that rally the faith, flag, family, and freedom types of African. It is up to you to defend this country, whether it's in rain or shine, and damn shiny today, it's rather hot. Um, but it's up to you, the South African, to stand up and defend your life, your liberty, and your property rights. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I see the, the, uh, the usual douchebags, trolls are here. Um, let them be angry, because they are here to defend the status quo. They are here to defend the status quo. Trust to me, um, there will be people who get very upset at the work that we're doing because what they don't want is for South Africans to enjoy a free society where we have 
and we enjoy life, liberty, and property rights. So let them get angry, let them gnash their teeth, but they know we're coming for them. So with that being said, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I will end this one over here. And a reminder to you as I end it, for you to never trust a commie.